Welcome back. It's a question that comes up every four years, and especially after our contentious 2020 election. Can we get rid of the Electoral College? New tonight, CBS 13's Valina Jones is getting answers on what it would take to overhaul our election system. An ongoing debate. Just like anything in politics, you think it's working if it would go your direction, and you don't if it won't. Is Electoral College the best way to pick a president? It's a system created when slavery was legal and only men could vote. But getting rid of it is no small task, according to political analyst Gary Dietrich. It would mean you'd have to do a constitutional amendment. That is not easily done. While a candidate could win the popular vote, currently it doesn't guarantee victory. It happened back in 2000 with Al Gore and again in 2016 with Hillary Clinton. An alternative solution? A compact that determines a president based on the popular vote. 15 states, including California and the District of Columbia, support the idea. It would take states with an additional 74 electoral votes before it would take effect without having to change the Constitution. The trickier thing is going to be able to convince Republican state legislatures and Republican governors to sign on to initiative when historically the Electoral College especially in recent elections, has been a benefit to the Republican Party. UC Davis political science professor Isaac Hale believes a national popular vote model would create higher state voter turnout. If presidential candidates had to really compete over California voters, their concerns would be a lot more front and center. We might love it. We might have parking spaces on our airports dedicated to presidential jets because they'd be here so often. 61% of Americans, according to a Gallup poll, support ending the Electoral College. Even with a push, Dietrich believes that won't happen anytime soon. I really think it's going to go on for a long time. Well, the states that have signed on to the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact have been largely Democratic-controlled.